Grade 4, Engage New York, End of Module 1, Review Test. Number 1 says to compare the values of each 3 in the number 633,248. It says to use a picture, numbers, or words to explain. I really encourage you to draw a place value chart on either a piece of scratch paper or on the back of one of your test papers or in each problem so that you can use it to set up each problem as you go. So for this one, we're going to start with our place value chart. Um, and I ask my students to write the place value chart in red correctly one time with like the words ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands written out uh, in full. But since we're just doing a review, you can do what your teacher expects of you. So I would write this number 633,248 into the place value chart. And it's asking me to compare the threes. So I'm going to take the three in the ten thousands place and really look at it. Well, its value is 30,000. Then if I look at the three in the thousands place, its value is 3,000. When you look at this, you can tell that these two threes are not equal. The three that makes 30,000 is much larger than the three that makes 3,000. But it says that we need to explain. So let's make sure we do that. So off to the side, I'm going to write things like the three in the ten thousands place is 30,000. Or if you want to be even more specific, we could write has a value of 30,000, which is 10 times bigger than 3,000, than 3,000. And then I might add 3,000 is the value of the 3 in the thousands place. Please try not to fall into the habit of saying the first three or the second three, because that depends which side you're starting on or which side you're reading from. And since in math, we often start on the right with the ones column, you don't want your teacher to have to guess which three you're talking about. So really be careful to write the 10 thousands place, right? and the three in the thousands place. And that'll show your teacher that you know you're talking about this three, and then that you're talking about this three. Very nice, that's all you need for number one. And you can see that you could have also put it right into this chart, and it would have worked just the same, right? To say 633,248, and if you're comparing the threes, you see one is 330,000 and the other is 3,000. And you just have to uh, make sure that your teacher can understand which three you're talking about. I suggest that you use the name of the place value for that. And that you also try to use the word 10 times bigger or 10 times as much, right? Because if we took our 3,000, and we multiplied it times 10, we would get the 30,000. So 30,000 is 10 times bigger than 3,000. All right, now I'm on number two. On number two, it says compare using a greater than, less than, or equal to sign. Write your answer inside the circle. Remember, when we are on a test or a graded paper, we cannot use the teeth inside of our greater than sign to show that um, 
it's bigger, that it's the alligator that's going to eat something. So since we cannot use those teeth on a test, you might want to remember that as you read it, the big side open would read as greater than. And then if you had it reading the other way, this one reads as less than. So you can really get the feel of the open side reads the words greater than and the closed side reads the words less than, okay? I really, really suggest again that you use your place value chart. So ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. All right, and we'll see how that goes. I like it when you do it on a separate page because this gets a little small and a little difficult to read. So be aware of that, but we'll start with it. It says I have 134 thousands. So I could put 134 in the thousands place, but we know that we can't have the extra digits. We can only have one digit in each column. So I'm gonna go ahead and do 134 thousand. And then it says plus four ten thousands. So right here in the ten thousands place, I'm going to do plus four ten thousands. And that's going to equal 174,000. And I put that number over here in standard form so I can really see it to compare. I also need to write this side of the um, comparison into my chart. So I'll write 169,000. Now I can compare these two numbers. The ones are equal, but with the seven and six, the seven is larger. So 174,000 is larger or greater than 169,000. I suppose I could write it inside the box huh? or the circle. So that means that 174,000 is greater than 169,000. Then for B, you do it all again. You really do have to write down the place value chart again. So I suggest that you do your best to get very quick at writing your place value chart. All right, and we'll go ahead and do it like this again. And here we go. So 300 thousands. So I have a three in the hundred thousands place. And it says minus 100 thousand. So I'm going to go minus a one in the hundred thousands place. And that's going to equal 200,000. On the other side, oh my, you can't see it now because I have it covered. But on the other side, it says 200,000. And you can see that these two numbers are equal. They're equal because the hundred thousands place is equal with twos. The ten thousands place is equal with zeros and it continues with zeros all the way down. If they're equal, then in the um, comparison circle, I put an equal sign. All right, next we need to do our chart again. So hopefully you're getting pretty good at it. And this time it wants us to have 4 million compared to 10 hundred thousands plus 16 hundred thousands. So I actually need to continue my chart out here to be millions. This chart would look much better if it were on a blank page, right? So I have four million, so I'm gonna write four million right here. Ooh, that's a lot of zeros. Make sure you get your commas in there, okay? So four million. Then I have 10 hundred thousands. So in the hundred thousands place, I'm gonna write 10 and then everything else is zeros. Now we can't have 10, well we can, but when we have 10 in the hundred thousands place, typically we bundle. So this one would come over here and be a one in the millions place. All right, so now we have one million, but we have to add to that 600 thousands. So let's go ahead and add 600 thousands. So in the hundred thousands place, I'm adding 600 thousands. I add them and that gives me 1,600,000. All 
All right, but we're comparing this to 4 million. Well, which is bigger, 4 million or 1 million 600,000? 4 million is bigger. So in our comparison circle, it will be open to the 4 million. All right, on D, we have 129 thousands minus 100,000, right? So I put everything into my chart again. I'm telling you, really handy if you are quick about drawing your chart, or if you make one and use it for all of your problems. 129 thousands, again, would get bundled to be in the hundred thousands, ten thousands, and thousands. And I'm going to subtract 100,000. So I'm going to take away this one, right? And that'll leave me with 29,000. And I like to write that over here so I can see it in standard form compared to the other one. My second number is 30 thousands. And so that's going to look like that. And then we compare. In the thousands place, the three is larger. So our comparison sign will look just like that. All right. I'm going to stop there as number three is pretty complicated.